While programming PLCs, it is important to understand the difference between a function call and function block. A function call in PLC programming is simply a call to a set of instructions that are executed by the PLC and it may or may not return a value. The function block does exactly the same, except the fact that each function block has an associated data block. The data block preserves or retains all the information of the function block. Let me explain from the perspective of the PLC main program. The PLC main function has a set of instructions. If you are using a Siemens PLC, the main function instructions lie in the organization block. Well, we, we have a, a certain number of instructions in the main block or the main function. What happens, the PLC CPU scans the instructions all the way from the beginning to the end and once the end is reached, it will start all over again. Now, suppose we have a function call at this specific instruction that is FC10. Well, 10 in this case, I have chosen randomly as the number of the function call. Here is the function call 10. Well, this is the convention that a number will be assigned to each function call and function block as well. What happens whenever the PLC scan cycle reaches at this specific instruction, a call to FC10 is made. Now the control of the program will be shifted to FC10. And whatever are the instructions in this FC10 function call will be executed. It may return a value as well, may or may not return value depends upon a requirement. Now once execution has ended, the control will be shifted back to the point from where the function call was invoked. Suppose we have a function block at the next instruction we call the FB and it has been randomly assigned the number FB15 this FB15, just like the FC, has a set of instructions. So whenever the call is made, the control of the program will be shifted to this FB15 block. All the instructions will be executed. And after the execution, the control will be shifted back to this point. But here is one additional thing we would have a data block numbered as db15 which will retain or preserve all the values whether we have any bit value byte value timer counter value well all these values will be retained in this db15 well these values can be used on SCADA HMI or any other point in the program. So the DB15 will retain or preserve the values of the FB15. So this is the main difference between the function call and function block. The function call is simply a call to a function or a set of instructions that are executed and the control is shifted back. It may or may not return a value. Similarly, FB15 may or may not return a value to the point from it is where it is called. So, hope you understood the, the difference between the FC and FB. Now, if we have, for example, a number of other function block FB16 and FB17, for example, well, each of the function block will have its own respective data block. That is DB16 and DB17. Each D DB, well, the DB stands for data block will have all the values of the function block of its respective function block. So the db value of the db15, this specific bit value may be different from the db16, this specific bit value, because the function block, each function block is different in terms of the data. Well, the instructions may be pretty the same, but the data may be different because whenever we are calling a function block at a specific point, we may pass certain different values to the function block. So based on those different values, we can have the bits value different from each other.
in each data block. But let's not get into the deep explanation. The purpose of the video was to tell you the difference between the function call and function block. For more videos about PLC programming, troubleshooting, SCADAs, HMIs, and process control systems, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you next time.